So I picked it up. There it is. Beautiful galvanized little trailer. It's pretty light too. I, I picked it up and actually took it out of the pickup truck. I didn't uh, I didn't tow it because I don't know if these wheels are going to fly off. So I just threw it in the back of the pickup truck and I just kind of got it out of there now. And uh, yeah, it's a beauty. And you'll never guess where I got this. Um, I don't know if you know or have heard of Pamela Anderson. This was about three minutes from her place. So if you research where she lives now, you'll know where I was. Anyway, pretty cool. So I'm gonna get this thing going. I'm gonna jump in that. That's a telehandler. Uh, I call them a zoom boom. Uh, it's not my job to drive these, but I can. Uh, I have driven them and operated them along with a bunch of other stuff. So I'm gonna grab this guy and I am going to, I've got some straps and I'm going to zoom out and grab the boat, lift it up and give it a good clean, uh, scrape some of those chunks and barnacles off. And then I'm gonna zoom it back in over here and I'm gonna dump it on the trailer and get it ready to go. Um, so that's my Saturday morning mission. On a side note, this thing would literally grab or lift my forerunner and throw it up easily onto about a five-story roof. Uh, this is this is quite the beast. And my beautiful forerunner is just sitting right over there. I don't know if you can see it, that thing of beauty. So what I'm going to do is, I've got the straps set up, I'm just going to, I'm going to put the forks this way and put the straps through the forks. And uh, you know, normally I think I would take it from the side and put the forks over top and lift it. But just the way this thing is situated here, I can't move it around. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get in position, I'm going to line it up fairly straight and I'm going to zoom out those forks and, uh, and hook those straps up to it. And then I might just clean it where it sits here um, and then we'll see what happens next. So I just looped these straps around the boat and it's uh, it's around here. Uh, all the weight, of course, is in the back of this thing. Um, so I just looped it around. You just, th the thing you wanna do is just kinda make sure your straps are the same length, just so it's not picking it up sideways or something weird. Anyway, I'm just gonna do the back one and then I'll uh, zoom out and hook this thing up. So these guys, obviously this, this boom extends way, way out. And uh, these forks are adjustable, of course. I can, I can move them closer together. They should be fine the way they are. And I'm just gonna slide the straps over top here. And I can, uh, can pretty much manipulate this thing any way I want to. See, I'm zoomed out a bit here, and uh, the forks are now over top of the boat. And I'm going to get this thing going on here. So this is the uh, tilting my forks up and down, and of course I can still zoom out. So I just want the forks level. level-ish and then I can start lifting it up to see how it looks now I'm not dead square so I gotta just watch how it just swings beauty and you shouldn't be driving these things around zoomed out so I'm gonna bring it in and uh, Scrape the bottom off, I'll save you that. And uh, storm's brewing, and I'll get the trailer under this thing and pack it up. So, I'm going to position the trailer under this thing now and uh, just lower it down onto the trailer. Uh, it's the trailer's pointing the wrong way, obviously, I can't get out that way, but I'll just flip the trailer around uh, manually. There it is, ready to go. I'm just gonna strap it uh, down to the trailer. 
and it's ready to roll, kind of. That's it for today, Saturday. It's gonna pour too, so uh, that's it, ready to go. I'm gonna get my uh, forerunner ready to go, meaning I don't have my hitch here, but I have one lying around uh, somewhere here in the, in the shop. So these tires I've gotta fill, I'm gonna change. I hate these tiny wheels, so I might change out that whole axle, get some 15 inch on there. But this will get me to where I'm going. It's only, uh, I don't know, 10 miles south of here. Um, so I'll strap this thing down and get it in the ocean. But anyway, I'll just go over it quick. Won't bore you with that. And the next time I see you with this thing, uh, hopefully I'll be chewing on a crab or a salmon. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.